Hola amigos, welcome back guys. So today I will be telling you about Innovance PLC and HMI, Intro and Basic Programming. With that said, what's up guys, Nadi here and without any further ado, let's get started. First, let us take a look at the PLC, H1 you make. This is the model I am currently using. But this and the H2U model are going to be discontinued very soon and the H3U model will only be there and other models if coming. But no worries, programming is same way, only little bit addresses are different. And the programming software is the AutoShop for PLC and the InnoTouch editor for HMI. And the download links for the software is given in the description. This has two COM ports, COM0 and COM1. COM0 is by default for the HMI connection and COM1 for other accessories connections. All the models, inputs, outputs, details are given in PDF that I am attaching in the description. And you can take a look at the help topic in the Photoshop software. I am going to show you a very simple example of program POL starter. Okay, so let's open the software. Now first we create a new project by clicking on file new project tick mark on new project give the project a name select the plc model dol starter and ok now this is the outlook of the software now the first thing to do is enable element comments guys always use this element commenting while making a program it will be useful to you as well as any other person using the program to understand the program easily for now i will select a memory input address m8000 that is the run monitor use this before all your programs now M0 start input NO. Now NC input stop input M1. And these are the different types of inputs you can use. And an output Y0. And now add a no contact Y0. Now comment the element function name output. Start. and stop now download the program to the plc see now whenever i write the n contact the output becomes high and when i press the nc contact the output stops Now let's create a HMI screen, open the InnoTouch software, this is the first look of the software, go to file, create a new project, select the new project point, select the HMI model. Select the project name and OK. Now 
now this is the start screen okay now first we will select a bit lamp for the output indicator green color then give it the address y0 and okay and okay now move it to the position Now we will select a switch, bit switch, double click, select the image, go to button 1, green color, for and no contact, start command. Now go to general and select, set the address, M0, ok and ok. Now this is your start command. Now copy and paste. And double click. Go to the image. Change it to red for stop command. Go to general. Set the address M1. OK and OK. Now let's add the text. Double click on the A, text, double click, text, start, ok, copy paste, double click, stop, ok, now move it to the position. Change the font, Arial Black, change this font also Arial Black, ok. Now change the communication setting of the PLC, because by default COM0 is for Innovance HMI communication, change it to Moduvers RTU, write then change COM1 to HMI protocol ok right download the program to the PLC now the HMI communication setting it's ok download the program Please wait for some time. Now close. Now we will add a start delay timer. For that, first let we will change this Y0 to M2 memory bit. and this also to M2 memory bit comment on in the next line we will take M8000 run monitor then M2 and no contact then a timer T1 and K100 that is 10 second timer
T1 and no contact and Y0 output coil now we take a digital register address for viewing the timing counter on HMI for that first we use M8000 run monitor then we will move the data of T1 to D1 register because we can take T1 directly to the HMI download the program to the PLC now in the HMI let's take a numeric display double click select the address D1 ok numeric format 3 before decimal point and after decimal point 1 ok now download the program just wait a bit when the close symbol comes, close the program.